Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Let's start with problem 2.18. The statement of this problem is that the specimen shown is made from 1 inch diameter cylindrical steel rod with two 1.5 inch outer diameter sleeve bounded to the rod as shown in figure. So this is the rod, steel rod and these are the two sleeves that is bounded, bounded to the rod. Uh, the modulus of elasticity is 29 to the power 6 psi. You have to determine the load P. This you have to determine load P for total deformation 0.002 inch. The second part is corresponding deformation of central portion rod BC. So we have given data. So given data is that uh, the diameter of this BC rod is DBC which is given as 1 inch. The diameter of rod AB which is 1.5 inch diameter of AB is 1.5 inch similarly diameter of CD is equal to 1.5 inch the modulus of elasticity is given as E is 29 into 10 to the power 6 psi for and you have to find the first one load P P you have to find P for total deformation. I will write deformation as change in length. Total change is 0 0.002 inch. So you have to define load P which correspond to total deformation 0 0.002 inch. And this is the first part and the second part is corresponding deformation of central portion BC. So you have to ch find the change in length of so let's start with its solution. As we know that uh, change in length is equal to PL divided by AE. So now we have three portions AB, BC and CD. So we will write this change in length as summation of PI, LI over AI, E. Clear? E i. So where i start from 1 to 3 because we have 3 portions so we will write this as this. So we have to find p so then p generally you can say that uh, uh, p and a are constants value so uh, we will write the general equation as sigma is equal to p over a will be outside because P sorry P over E is outside because these are the E is constant for all and P is the single load so we will bring this out so this equation will be like L I over A I okay where I start from 1 2 3 now you have to find P so this P will be over here and this will be change in length into E and this will be L I over A I summation sorry summation I start from 1 to 3 and it will be inverse so this equation will be like that now for we can say that this P is equal to sigma E into L1 A1 plus L2 A2 plus L3 over A3 whole inverse. So let's let's start finding A1. So uh, so we will we have rod AB, we have rod BC, and we have rod CD. Again, we will write its length. If you write, if you write it in tabular form, so it will be like that. So length, dia, area, and L by A. And here you can say that this is AB, this is BC, and this is CD. 
so length of AB was 2 inch, BC is 3 inch and CD is 2 inch. Also dia is 1.5 inch that is 1 inch and this is 1.5 inch. So you have to uh, find the area and the formula of area is pi by 4 d square. Clear? So for this d 1.5 you will get if you calculate it it will be 1.7671 it will be 0 0.7854 this will be 0 1.7671 the, 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 the unit is in inch this will be inch square this will be inch minus 1 ok so now you you have this L you have this uh, sorry this A and this L you can find L by A which is 1.3131 clear for this you can also calculate L by A which is 3.8197 and for this again this is 1.311A so if you calculate the sum of L over A because L L1 over A1 plus L2 over A2 plus L3 over A3. So if you sum this, it will be 6.083 sum. L by A, this will be total L by A. Sum of L by A. Sum of L by A. Clear? Now you have the above equation, this equation 1. So you have either you will put L these values separately or in simple you can use this formula. So P will be equal to sig change in length E into sigma L by A inverse. Clear? So change was given as 0.002 inch. E is also given that is 29 10 to the power 6. And this sum of L by A is 6.083 inverse. So if you calculate this, so P comes out to be 9.35 into 10 to the power 3 LV. Clear? Or you can see that this P is equal to 9.53, 9.35 kips. So you have calculated the value of P for which total deformation is 0 0.002. Now this was the first part. The second part is total deformation in BC. So again this is very simple. You know that total deformation in BC is equal to PL BC over ABC into E. So you have to put the values P is 9.35 into 10 to the power 3. Length of this rod BC is in above figure is 3 inch. Area is calculated in your table that is 3.8197 and E is 29 into 10 to the power 6. So if you calculate this, this change in length or total deformation in BC is 1.254 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch. So this was all about problem 2.17, clear? So again if you have any question you can ask. Thank you.